Dale Strike started his bowling career at the tender age of four, and just five years later recorded a series of 642. No, he started out uh, throwing the ball with two hands like this here, and he'd always draw a lot of attention from the spectators that were in there bowling, and they couldn't believe what they were seeing there. If it was a split, the ball would go down, and he'd make the split sometimes, and uh, they were amazed by how he threw the ball. And at that age, uh, four, that was quite a feat to start bowling at that point. You got a 16-pound ball, a 14-pound ball, whatever you may be using. It's a lot of weight for a youngster to throw around. He won a gold medal at the United States National Youth Games in Birmingham, Alabama in 1973, followed by a silver and bronze in 1974 in Baltimore, Maryland. I think Dale was only about 10 years old at the time. You know, and I was just watching this young kid bowl. And I thought, man, he's going to be a great bowler. And then I said, well, what's the kid's name? And oh, it's Dale Strike. So I says, what a perfect name for bowling. His first 300 game came soon after, at the age of 12. I read when he was 12, he shot a 300 game. I mean, that's incredible. And I said, we got to get Dale out of the junior leagues. Let's get him on our team. I don't think they wanted to do that quite yet, but they finally let him go. I think he was about 14 when he first started bowling in the Township Times League. Strike attended Dwight D. Eisenhower High School, where he lettered in baseball, basketball, and football all four years. But the Little League played at night, and I got you know most of my work done by 7 o'clock, and I'd try and make legal early and go out and watch Dale play ball. And did very well. I think he was All-City the one year. Well, I would go to his baseball games and watch Dale play baseball, and uh, he'd hit a home run or whatever, and he was a real good ball player. After graduating, he attended Saginaw Valley State University on a bowling scholarship where he competed for two years. Dale just loves to bowl. He just loves to bowl. He has been active in bowling for over 40 years and has racked up over 100 300 games in league and tournament competition. Nine of those were bowled during the 2003-2004 season and 15 games were bowled during professional and regional bowlers tournaments. Additionally, Dale Strike has many 299 games and a total of 46 800 series. Strike's high series of 873 in 1985 was the highest series ever bowled in the Detroit All-Star Classic. His many titles include 11 professional regional titles, 10 Michigan majors, 3 Michigan team challenge, 5 northern majors, 22 Saginaw City tournament wins, and one World Team Challenge title. In 1995, Strike was the youngest member ever to be voted into the Michigan Majors Bowling Hall of Fame, his first year on the ballot. He also was their Bowler of the Year in 1984. Dale went to the ABC tournament back in, back in the 80s, you know, and uh, I remember getting a phone call they had, a, they had a drawing. In fact, it was in a bowling magazine. Uh, they were going to draw one bowler out of how, I think they had like 100,000 entries, you know. And Dale happened to be the bowler they drew out. He, he won a cheap Cherokee, of course. He flew there, so he wasn't going to drive it back. So, you know, he ended up taking the money, and I think it was around $25,000 they ended up giving him, you know. So I said, that's fantastic, you know. Out of all these guys, Dale happened to be the one to win it. In the 1990s, Strike, who has won two Saginaw News Top Average Awards, was voted the News Bowler of the Decade. Dale, uh, I remember he used to go into his 500 bowling balls he has in the garage and basically he'd be going off to a tournament, a national stop, and he'd reach in the box and pull out a bowling ball. And I'd say, Dale, what are you going to do with that? You got everything packed for the airplane. I'm taking this ball with me, and he won that tournament. He said, I've got one more ball in the car. Why don't you go get it? I said, okay. Well, I got it, and that was it. He had 280, 240, and 230, 750. Rick was bowling with him at the time, and Randy Cluck. Neither one of them could muster up even 600. Randy says he may as well shot 900. He says that's the best three games I've ever seen bowled. He has earnings over $175,000 on the PBA regional and national tours, and over $40,000 in Michigan Majors Bowling Association. Strike was inducted into the Saginaw Bowling Hall of Fame in 2004 at the age of 41, making him the youngest ever to be inducted. Well, Dale, Dale had a unique style of his own, and, uh, and that's what it kind of takes in bowling. There's a lot of people that have done pretty good, and uh, he had his own style, and he would make his own, 
create his own area out there, actually, with, with a bowling ball. He would do things that nobody else could do.